Today I'll be showing you how Bill.com makes accounts payable magically simple, as well as fast, easy, and secure. The traditional manual AP process consists of many tedious steps that have to be repeated for each and every bill that you pay. But with Bill.com, it takes just four steps to receive and pay your bills. Step 1. Get your documents into your dedicated Bill.com inbox via email, fax, scan, and upload. Step 2. Code the bills by entering information such as the invoice number and the amount. Step 3. Assign and route the bills for approvals. And Step 4. The final step. Pay your bills. The net result of these four simple steps is a significant amount of time saved and more organization and control over your back office. And because you can access Bill.com anytime from anywhere, your AP audit trail is always at your fingertips. Everything from receipt to settlement. Let's take a closer look at this process. Here we are at your company's Bill.com homepage. The first step for you is to get your bills into Bill.com. This can be done by you and your staff or directly by the vendor issuing the bill by sending it to your Bill.com inbox. For our demonstration here, I'm going to drag and drop a bill directly into my Bill.com account. Once your bill is in your Bill.com inbox, it's time for step two, coding. Now you create a bill using the document in your inbox. Because Bill.com uses smart technology and syncs with your accounting software, it auto-populates many fields using information that was previously supplied for the given vendor. Here I'll add the invoice number, the invoice amount, in this case it'll be $1,500. Once the bill is created, you can designate certain individuals to approve the bill, as well as communicate with them. I've selected John Smith to approve the bill, and when I'm done, I'll click Save. This workflow can be optional or mandatory so that your Bill.com workflow adheres to your organization's established checks and balances. And while we wait for John to approve the bill, it's worth noting that we offer endless storage in Bill.com, so we're not only able to capture the bill, but also any of the necessary supporting documents that go with it, including contracts, quotes, and receipts. For step three, let's take a look at how John can use the Bill.com mobile app to approve a bill. By clicking the navigation icon, John can navigate to different parts of the app, such as bills, invoice, payments, approval history, and settings. By clicking the briefcase icon, John can navigate to customer and vendor profiles. By clicking the plus icon, John can access quick actions such as scan to inbox, entering a bill, and creating an invoice. At the bottom of the screen, John can choose to approve all overdue invoices, invoices due today, invoices due in the next seven days, or all unpaid invoices. Let's say John wants to approve the bill for $343. He would go ahead and click on it, and starting at the top, if he clicked the conversation icon, he could read any notes left by colleagues. If he clicks the thumbnail of the invoice, he can get a zoomed in version of the invoice and view all the details. Then it's just a matter of approving or denying. Clicking on the approve button will act as a virtual signature and timestamp and lock the activity into the audit trail in your Bill.com account. Now we're logged back into your Bill.com account and ready for the final step, which is paying the $1,500 bill that John approved with all the others while using the Bill.com app. From here, I could choose to apply a vendor credit, review the invoice, or any notes left by a colleague. I can also view basic bill information, such as the invoice due date and the approval status. And in the event I need to pay less than the amount due, I can simply change the payment amount. I can also change the process date for the payment. The process date is the date that the funds are debited from my account, whether it's a check or an ACH payment. I'll then select the invoice. I can then choose the bank account I'd like to pay from, and then click the Pay button. And here's my payment confirmation. Once the payment is actually made, the bill will be closed out in Bill.com and your accounting software via the sync, ensuring the books are current for you and your accountant. With four easy steps, you have now received, coded, approved, and processed a bill in Bill.com, saving you time and providing additional organization and control for your business. And because Bill.com can be accessed anytime and anywhere, you always have your entire AP audit trail at your fingertips. Thanks for watching our demo. If you're interested in learning more about using Bill.com for your business, 
please reach out to your accounting professional. Have a great day.